once upon a midnight dairy while I ponder a weak and weary over many a quite and curious volume of forgotten lore while I nodded nearly napping suddenly there came a tapping as some one gently ramping 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 at my chamber door to someone a visitor I muttered tapping at my chamber door only this and nothing more I strictly I can remember it was a in the blink of December and each separated dying amber ori it's a ghost upon the floor eagerly I wish I wished the morrow finally I had sought to borrow from my book surcase of sorrow sorrow for the loss of Lenore for the rare radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore and was her forevermore and the silk sad uncertainty rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me filled me with fantastic terror never felt before so that now to still beating my heart I stood repeating to some visitor entering and chance at my chamber door some late visitor entering and entrance at my chamber door this it is and nothing more pleasantly my soul grew stronger hesitating then no longer sir said I or madam surely truly your forgiveness I implore you but the fact is I was napping and so gently you came uh, napping rapping and so faintly you came a tapping tapping at my chamber door that I scared was sure I heard you I hear I opened wide the door darkness there is nothing more deep into the darkness peeping long I stood where wandering fear doubting dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before but the silence was unbroken and the stillness gave no toke and the only word there spoke was whispers the word Lenore this whispered uh, and this whispered and echo muttered back a word Lenore merely this and nothing more back into the chambers turning all my soul within me burning soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before surely I said surely that is something at my window let you see, see let me see then what threat is and this mystery explore let my heart be still a moment and the mystery explore and t this and the wind and nothing more open here flung the shutter when with many a flirt and flutter in their steps a startly raven and a raven of the sainty days of yore not the least of sane made he not a minute stopped or stayed he's but with men of the lord or lady preached above my chamber uh, door preached upon a bust of a pillar just above my chamber door 
preached and sat and said nothing more. And this evil bird burbling my sad fancy into smiling, but the grave and stern tacoon of the encounter it wore. There the chest be sure, shaving though I said the art sure no craving, ghastly or grim or ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what they loudly name is of the night, Plutum of the shore, Quoth of the raven, nevermore. Much I marveled this ungainly fowl to hear, to disclose her so plainly, thus it's the answer, little meaning, little revealing more, for we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door, bird or beast upon the sculpture bust above of his chamber door, with such name as nevermore. But the raven is sitting lo lonely on the pedestal, bust spoke only the word as if his soul in that one word he did outpour nothing further than no nothing he unturned not feather not, not feather than he fluttered until I scarcely more than muttered other friends have fallen before on the moral he will leave me as my hopes have flown before and the bird said nevermore startled at the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken doubtless said I what it uttered it is it is it is only stalk to the shore caught from some unhappy matter from unmissable disaster followed fast and followed fast sir until his song once bird bore until the dringing of his hopes and melancholy burden bore of never of never never more but the raven still bungling all my fancy into smiling straightly I wheeled a cushion seat in front of the bird and the bust door then upon the velvet sinking I betook myself to linking the fancy unto the fancy thinking what this um an ominous bird of yore, what this grim, ungainly, gashly gun, grunt, uh, ominous bird yore, meant in croaking nevermore. This I set at engaging, guessing, but no stably expressing to the fowl those fiery eyes now burned into my bosom core this and more I sat riven with my head at ease reclining on the cushion velvet lining that the lamp like gold or but whose velvet violet lighting with the length of the lamp light gulfling your all she'll pass press nevermore then mithril the air grew decent perfume from the unseen 
since they're swallowing by serpent hands with no foot fall tickling of the purple floor wretched I cried they God even, even let him be by these angels he had, had sent three which are Respite and the nephew from the memories of Lenore. Oof, on oof, this kind of nephew, and I forgot his loss, this loss Lenore. Oof, the raven, nevermore. The prophet said, I think of the evil prophet still, it's the bird or devil. Yet all underdreaming on this distant land, enchanted. Oh, this home by horror haunted. Tell me truly, am I in lore? Is is there is there bl lane in Galad? Tell me, tell me, in lore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet said, basically the same thing I just read. Okay. Be that word our sign of parting bird or fiend. I shrieked, upstarting, get thee back into the tempest and the night pull ashore. Leave no black plume as a token of that. Lies they soul even spoken leave my loneliness unbroken quite the burst above my door take the beak from out my heart and take they from from off my door quoth the raven nevermore and the raven never fitted to still is sitting still is sitting on the pallet of uh, the bust of the pallet just above my chamber door and his eyes have all the seemingly of the demons that dreaming and the lamp lighting your him steaming through his shadows on the floor and my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be filled nevermore and if you want my help, you better all stop calling me Edgar. Wait, that's your name, isn't it? That's the name my stupid parents gave me. I like to be called by my goth name, Night Pain. Growing up, I always liked this poem. I probably butchered a lot of names and a lot of words. The reason why I wanted to do this reading, uh, Dark Star Raven gave me a little inspiration and, uh, yeah, thank you for a little inspiration. Uh, I'll put a link to her channel description in the uh, description below. Uh, I think the reason why I like this because I love Treehouse of Horror of the Simpsons growing up, and uh, this was that was one of my favorite episodes was Bart Simpson playing the Raven as Nevermore. Tell me, tell me what that shorty name is on the nice Tony Shore. Quoth the Raven. Eat my shore. Or eat my shorts, but uh, what I really liked about it because I did read this in uh, middle school, I think leaving middle school and uh, uh, moving on to like Macbeth in high school and you know Shakespeare, uh, I got an interest this because it was just really very creepy vibe. Uh, the Raven uh, is a poem uh, re uh, written by. Uh, Egler Allan Poe. Uh, recently, uh, if you haven't seen one of Raven's videos, she just did another. Like I said, I can't even remember all of it, but uh, she just did a reading on one of those poems, and uh, I always found uh, Egler Allan Poe's The Raven chilling, terrifying, and just a good read. Like I said, I probably butchered a lot of words. Reading for me is not my strong suit. So, uh, I just wanted to read a poem from Elder Allen Poe's The Raven. Uh, there's been parodies from South Park to 
like I said, this is Trails 4. Uh, that's probably one reason why I did it. But uh, this is just something I wanted to do, guys. Uh, like I said, I, it may have uh, gone on a little longer than I wanted this video to do, but uh, please go check out Dark Star. She's an awesome YouTuber. She loves books. She loves to do reading book reviews and all of October. She's doing a lot of videos, so go check her out. Her link to their channel is in the description below. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you like this. I'm doing a few things for October. Not every day, but a few things. And uh, we will see you on the next one, guys. Peace.